Hello and welcome to the Filmic channel, my name's Elliot and in this video I'm going to walk you through everything that's new in Filmic Pro V7.3 on both iOS and Android. Now this release is all about expand and customizability in Filmic Pro and ensuring that every filmmaker has the exact suite of tools that they need at their fingertips just to tap away in the main user interface. And to make this possible, we've converted all viewport buttons on wide aspect devices into custom function buttons. When V7 was first released, we included a single dedicated custom function button in the upper right of the interface. On a clean install of the app, tapping once would reveal the custom function picker and you could assign either one of the nine top level presets or tap the plus button to access a much bigger list of available custom functions. Once applied, you can tap the custom function to trigger or toggle whatever custom function you've applied. If you want to remap it, just long press on the custom function button to reveal the picker. We received a ton of feedback from filmmakers saying how useful the custom function button was, but could they have a second or even a third custom function button? In response to this request, we've dramatically expanded this functionality to all viewport buttons for a total of six custom function buttons. Now the Filmic Pro V7 interface can be whatever you need it to be. I'm going to walk you through how I would transform Filmic Pro to suit my shooting needs. However, every filmmaker is unique, so you will of course need to tweak this to suit your own requirements. So first of all, I'm going to remap the settings button in the upper left because I like to shoot with Polar Pro, Peter McKinnon variable ND filters via a 67mm filter mount that screws onto my device. And it actually covers the part of the screen that the settings button is on preventing me from tapping it. So I'm actually going to leave the settings button where it is, but use the custom function button in the upper right to let me access settings. So I'll long press on it, then I'll tap the plus button to access list view, and I'll scroll almost to the bottom to the library and settings category and choose settings. Instantly, my capture experience is improved. But let's not stop there. Next, I'm going to remap the remote control cam button as I'm not going to need remote control on my next shoot. So I'll long press on it, then I'll enter list view. And if we scroll down, you'll notice we have a brand new quick action modal category. Now for me, accessing the shutter speed cam is going to be much more useful for my next project than the remote cam. So I can select it here and tap outside to close. Now I can quickly reveal my shutter speed cam and select 180 degree shutter speed for cinematic results. Finally, as I'm only going to be shooting on the wide lens as it uses the best quality sensor available on the 14 Pro Max, I'm actually going to remap the lens picker cam as I won't need it for my film. I can long press on it and I'm going to map this to the white balance lock as it really is important to me that I can quickly lock this prior to each take and then unlock it when the scene changes. It is available at the top level here. And now I'm ready to start filming with Filmic Pro configured perfectly to my individual needs. However, if you decide that your custom layout is less than ideal and you want to restore the viewport button layout to the defaults as defined after a clean install of Filmic Pro, you can do that easily. Long press on any custom function button and then hit the reset button at the very bottom. It will ask you to confirm that you want to restore the default layout. I'll tap reset and you are back to a standard layout. It's that simple. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped and more importantly, we hope you love the new custom functionality that's in V7.3 of Filmic Pro. Let us know what you think about it in the comments below. And remember, subscribe to the Filmic channel. We have a host of new features on the way and I can't wait to share more of them with you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.